Hello fellow spuds, welcome back to another episode with Logan Stone. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a different layout of the bedroom. I've switched things up a little bit. I've added a whole new room, actually. And since last episode I got all those tiles, I've made a little kitchen for myself. I didn't realise how good these kitchen units were. I've got these from the trailer, I didn't, uh, the trailer park. And these are just the bog standard countertops and things. But I didn't realise how much these hold. These hold 65. And the thing that you can put above it can also hold 65 despite the fact it's half the size and each of these shelves despite the fact they're full can only hold 65 so technically doing it this way you can get double the amount of storage for the same tile which is very very cool so I'm very happy I figured that out because I managed to fit a lot of our stuff in here you know I still got a little bit of a cold so apologies if I sound a bit stuffed up right today I'm planning on doing something a little bit different I'm planning on going up to the residential area to the I think it's technically the north it, it depends how you look at the map it's either north or it's west of Riverside I kind of tend to think it's west I think the river is the north of Riverside but I I could be wrong but I'm planning on going up to that residential area and I'm planning on spending a little bit of time there really so what I'm thinking is I'm going to take a fishing rod I'm going to take some fishing line um, and I'm thinking what I will do is I'll do a little spot of fishing while I'm up there because the river is just there. I might as well take it while I can. Right, slowly does it, I think. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, not quite, but we can turn. We're fine. Okay, off we go. I think the residential area is the bit where we're going. There's potentially quite a lot of loot. I might even grab some furniture and stuff while I'm there, hence why I thought the trailer would be a good idea. That's a nice looking car in there. Yeah, it looks like there's quite a few dotted around in there. I used that as a base before, and it was a really nice base. I did really enjoy it. Um, I was tempted to do it this playthrough as well. Oh, there's a lot of nice cars. Might have to pop in there at some point, have a look. I think we're just gonna... Gonna park here. Seems as good a place as any. So, can't see any immediate zombies. It's nice. Doors look in fairly good nick. We will crouch. I can hear a zombie banging, so there's probably one in there. Slightly concerned there's probably going to be more than one. Oh! Is it this door? It is this door. There we go. Okay. First one dealt with, and we got a house key. Excellent. Oh my god, another die-cost truck! <gasps> Stir-fry one! I don't think I've got that one. Oh, that's cool. Uh, rotten milk. Okay, fine. Now, can I pick up ovens yet? Oh, I need electrical three. I thought, oh no, I've got electrical one still. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh well. Do need to keep taking apart all these tellies though, so I will keep doing that. I'm going to take apart the beds as well because taking apart double beds gets you the most amount of carpentry skill per kind of action. So I want to keep doing that as much as possible, really, because I need to get to level six. I want to get to level six so I can make stairs. Oh, this is a good find. Adhesive bandages, antibiotics, massive. Beast blockers, painkiller, sleeping tablets. All of that is mine. Head on to here. Uh, do, 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 do. What do we have? An average muff of the standard. I'll take that because we need all the parts we can get going forward. Take the red light bulb. That's something. Charcoal. Yeah, why not? And box of nails magazine. Yes, we already have that. We do have a hood type sport. I'll take that as well. We're still after some food. Hopefully I can find something to eat. The cooking pot. There we go. Let's just eat uh eat that. Ooh, fresh uncooked bird meat. Take that. Take the bowl. I seem to not have I can never have enough bowls at the moment, so I need as many of them as possible. Okay, that's good. That's uh disassemble the radio. Any books, just a normal book and a newspaper. I'll take both of them. So I think I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'll be back if I find anything of use. Ooh. Do I already have one of them? I'll take that anyway. I don't know if I've already got it. I have been told by a commenter that Sneaking does exhaust you quite quickly, so I'm going to try and limit my doing that. Oh, come on. Right, okay, let's just disassemble the door. Hit the door hinge. Carpentry Master, I don't think I've got that one. I'm after some food, come on. Lots of tote bags and magazines in this person's house. Lots of tote bags and magazines. But nothing in the fridge or the cupboards. Now, there is a church there. I'll sneak at this point, because... Oh, that's a nice car. Not too sure about the colour of the that one, but they both look in good nick, so let's have a quick look. And I keep wanting to check these boots in case they've got tow bars or anything. 
toe bars are one of the things I just desperately want. Martridge map. What have you got for me? Tissue paper and tissue. Um, does, is there actually anything in church? I don't think there is. Not worth it anyway. Um, what's over here? There is a little shed. Let's go check out the shed. I'm surprised there's no zombies, honestly. We must have attracted them all when we did our whole gung-ho running around thing. That's that's the only thing I can think of. Okay, can we disassemble the door? We didn't bring the propane torch. Okay, that was that was really stupid of me. I thought we'd bought it with us. Oh well, no matter. Not a good start, to be honest, to get tired already. Might have to crash out in one of these houses. They all look like they're in fairly good condition. Let's scout around. You look alright. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we're in. Looks alright. Okay. We'll uh disassemble that. Disassemble that. Book and magazine. Take it. Metal work. I don't know if I've got either of them. I'm gonna take both of them just in case. I can always burn them if not. Right. Anything else? Please say there's some food. Oh good, okay, there's there's something. I'll take that. Some bowls, lovely. Butter? There was butter in the fridge. And rotten peas. I'll leave the rotten peas. Right, we're pretty tired, so let's just sleep up. We'll go to the next house. Hopefully there's something there. Actually, before that, let's try and get into this um shed back here. Doesn't look like there's a window, but is it open? It is. Soldering wire. Heavy duty type windshield. I will take that. as a, That's quite a big find. A pink light bulb. I don't think I've ever seen a pink light bulb. Oh, okay. Um, no, nah, I, uh, I don't know what makeup we can do, actually. We might be able to do something cool. I've dismissed it before, but I'm like, well, maybe we could actually do some... Maybe you can do, like, awesome paint work or something on your face. I don't know. Logan can go all Rambo. I'm not, I don't know. Really... I could have just done here instead of the whole shoot 'em up running into town thing. <sighs> That's why you should be patient. That's the lesson that I should learn, really. That I should be patient. Right, no more. Uh, yeah, there's no more houses up here. There is a house here, though. This is a boarded up house. From the outside. Which means there might be good loot in here. Let's right, skirt around the back. Have a look in there. Right, let's unbarricade this and then quickly run out the way. Remove the broken glass. Jump on in here, see what we can find. Right, house key. There we go. Dismantle the digital watch. Some rotten milk. We've got, there we go, this is what I was looking after. Normally houses like this, they were survivors. It's been boarded up. So we've got loads of ammo. Just what I was looking for. Got an ice pick, that's quite cool. Another lead pipe and a metal bar. Let's um, leave that one. We'll then do this one and we'll make our way along this street, I think. You can pick up windows. I didn't realise this. Someone mentioned it and I, I didn't know. You can pick up windows and you can transport them. I think it depends on the window type, but that is very, very cool. Uh, okay, take the ice cream. Oh, some more bolognese. Okay, adhesive bandage. Yes, please. All right, okay. Did I shut that door just to make sure? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's try and rest up here for a bit. We'll uh, shut those curtains sleep for a few hours. So I'll do this street first, and I'll make my way up to the next street, up above. Um, so we'll do this house, this house, these houses. There's something about that house I can't remember. It's something. Something niggling in the back of my mind, and I don't know what's causing it me to think. I don't know whether one playthrough I, it, the alarm went off in there, and it got me killed. It's something like that. But I, I remember something vividly about that. Well, not vividly, obviously, because I can't remember. But something about that house. I don't know. Maybe it's got good loot in it or something. Uh, walkie talkie. Emergency broadcast. Anyone? Uh, uh, mechanics one. Fishing one. You said uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's take them. Anything in here? Got these zombies on the floor. You've got nothing on you. You have just a watch. <clears throat> I think this is another couple that seem to have killed themselves. Well, there's no rounds in the chamber. Oh, maybe I only loaded two. I don't know. Interesting. I'm getting very lost in this place. Too many roads. I think I can hear a zombie. But I found a blue electric guitar that I just can't turn down. Take the advanced forage. I don't think I've got that. Okay, where are you, Mr. Zombie? No, 
There. You have a quite a nice looking bandana. I'm gonna take that bandana. For no real reason, but I kind of want it. Ooh, pickles. Uh, box of jar lids, that's huge. Take the lipstick. <laughs> Same reason as the makeup, just why not. That electric guitar I'm very happy about. <laughs> I think was it was it a black bass we've got before? So now we've got a guitar and a bass. We've also got a trumpet, so we are we are very, very quickly forming a one man band. There we go. Okay. That is everything. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna get in the car and I'm gonna drive round to the next street up. Because otherwise it's gonna if especially if I find any furniture I want to loot, it's gonna be quite a long way for me to go. Right, so I've looted that one, looted that one. Uh I've looted that one. Haven't looted these ones though. I haven't looked at that one. There are zombies up there, and they look like they're in... They're escaped convicts, by the look of it. That's, um, that's quite cool. Yeah, they're in jumpsuits, and they've got bags on them. Okay, there's quite a few of them. Oh, and there's the police officer. Okay, that's all of them dealt with. What do we get? What do we get? We got prisoner jumpsuit. I'm going to take it anyway just for... Just because. Duffel bag with some tape in it. That has some rope in it. Yeah, these are definitely escape convicts. This is very funny. Another nightstick in decent condition. A magnum. Take both of them. Ooh. This has a piano and it also has... Some nice other stuff in here. Oh, and there's no chance of breaking it. I'm picking up this piano. Come with me. You're coming home with me. I'm also going to take the piano stool. Yep, you're, you're coming home with me and you're going to go in my little collection room. I still have so much space in there. I thought it was 100 and something. It's 291. Oh my god. Okay, so I've got probably about 500's worth of carry capacity. I could literally raid most of Riverside and it would be fine. That's, um, that's amazing. Lots of food. That's always good. Ooh, juice box. Let's drink the juice box. I'm thinking this looks like quite a nice set, although I won't be able to pick that up, will I? I do like that red fridge, though. Take the red fridge. Master foraging. Not sure if I got that. And I'm going to need to check out that police car as well, because that, I'm sure, will at least have some ammo in it. Right, let's check out this car. Um, ooh, there's another house there. And then we're basically at the road, so we'll uh, we'll check out this quickly. I'm sure there's going to be some goodies in here. A military radio. Sling. Hello. Reduces firearm carry. That's cool. Oh, I'm taking all of that. I wonder if that radio is going to, because it's a military one, whether it will have the um, emergency broadcast signal on it. Either way, that's uh, that's huge. And let's head on into the the scary haunted house. So far, it doesn't seem that scary and haunted. I don't know why I was that worried. Actually, it's got a lot of stuff in here. It's got a mouse trap. That's massive because you can't make them. Oh, I'm happy about this already. Shotgun shells. Oh, yeah, okay, really, really happy. Got lots of food, yes, please. Oh, it's got a nice little set of furniture and a little glass. How to use generators again, seriously? Oh, that's, uh, that's not cool. Two in one episode. Ooh, this person subscribed to a lot of the magazines. <laughs> okay, so this is the last house on the block by the look of it. A shed. It is also locked. That oh, window's conveniently open. Paper clips. Don't know what I do with that. Rear windshield. That means we've actually got a normal windshield. We then got a rear windshield. We've actually got a lot of car parts this episode, which I'm surprised about. I didn't expect that. And no, are you serious? That's the third one. Oh, I am so frustrated. <laughs> so frustrated. I'm taking that clip on bow tie for absolutely no reason. Oh, and I struggled for so long. If I'd just gone here instead of the centre of town. Oh, that's um that's annoying. Pickle and milk. Right then, I think that's us done, to be honest. Before anything else, actually, uh, before anything else, because we are getting a little bit tired, let's have a quick, quick power nap in here. I can't because I, <laughs> because I destroyed the, the bed. Okay, let's just sleep here. We should be fine. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll just head over to these trailers, because there's two of them. I'm interested to see if there's anything in them. Dog food. Not what I was assuming there would be. There we go. 
Box shotgun shells, that's more like it. And then... Got these bits over here, which is what I'm mainly interested in. A couple of cars over there. The car there looks in good nick, and that's like a burger shop, I believe. Oh, vending machine? We've got some water barrel collection. Interesting. Okay. At least if we've got this here, we know we've got basically a full amount of water that we'll use, we can use, for, we can use later on, I guess. Uh, beer bottle. I'll take the beer. We also have loads of alcohol, so it's not like we're going to run out, really. Uh, bowl and jar. Yes, please. Sugar. Yes, please. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, I've got the Swap It um, mod installed after um, a couple of people got frustrated watching me having to swap out the shotgun for the lead pipe. I thought it was quite good. I never used it before, but it looks quite fun. So you just have, if, say, I had a shotgun and I put attached a back, it will... Basically, I can swap two back ones, so I could put that, and if I click one then, it would just swap the shotgun put on back on my back, and then I'd hold the lead pipe. Click one again, it would get the shotgun out, and put the lead pipe on my back. So I think that's probably a better way of doing it, because to us, I personally think the lead pipe should be a, a holster weapon. It's not, it doesn't, to me, it's not big enough to go on your back. I mean, that's just my personal opinion, but yeah. Ooh, their tire, standard, I'll, I'll take it. Can I? How heavy is it? 15. I'll need to take off out one thing. Okay. There we go. <laughs> take out the paper clips and fit in the tyre. That's uh, that's the way to go. I'm guessing there's some food in the burger place. Right, I've got some mustard. That's always good. A rotten ham. N not as good. Some more mustard and a jar. These are ovens. I can't... Five electrical for them. They're the industrial ovens, so they're, uh, they're, they're quite a bit better, I think. Rope. Ooh, duct tape. Here we go. Uh, light brown hair dye. Foundation makeup. Take some of that. Right, so at this point, I've explored all of all of this area, this residential area. The only place I really want to explore next and before I go is the petrol station. Because there is a fairly good chance from what I've been told of finding a tow bar. And I want a tow bar in case I want to tow other vehicles around. And you can use a rope, but there is more of a chance that you'll end up breaking the trunk of one of your cars or the hood of the other one. Oh, on the subject of trailers and my uh, <laughs> slight cock-up of a couple of episodes ago when I actually got the Land Rover, it was completely my fault. The reason it flipped was because I'd parked the car too close to the trailer and the actual connection point was underneath the Land Rover. So when I went to connect it, it just flipped, flipped them both round. So it's just it was me being an idiot. Right, let's make our way over. I don't want to take the car because I don't want to attract too many zombies. I'd rather go in sneakily. The zombies. I don't see any zombies around. I think we pulled them all back into town probably when we did all the shoot 'em up style stuff. So, um. Well, there are a couple down there. There we go. Okay. Don't think there's any more. Not not near me, anyway. Uh, there's a couple down there. Oh god, it looks like there's loads at the petrol station. Take these couple out. Okay. I count uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's track a couple of them. Okay, can we track a few more? We'll just take these out a little bit at a time. We should be fine. Nice. Two in one go. Alright, I count five. There's probably some hiding in here. Okay, that's all of them. I can hear another one. Might be in the petrol station itself. There are a few down there. Okay, are there any in here? Probably. Yeah, there are. Yeah, there's one in the petrol station itself. Let's make sure there's no one around the side. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, let's try and take out these ones and then kind of sneak in as we go. Oh, there is one round there. Oh, you would have got me, you sneaky thing. Okay, it looks like there's four there. Is there any in front of me? No. Okay, so it's just taking out these four by the look of it. And then the one inside the building. Okay, I think we're alright. Can't actually get in. Move the broken glass, I guess. Okay, we're in. 
Looks like there was a zombie attracted to me, but that's fine. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple. Get ready. Boom. Pop and chips. Another tire. I don't think I'm going to be able to carry that back. I'll see. I'll see. If I don't find too much stuff, then I will probably take it back with me because a tire is a tire. Um, a tire is obviously a tire. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Having a tire is better than nothing, is what I meant to say. Um, fossil sign, though. That's only two weight, and I could just take that with me. Well, no luck on the tow bar front yet. Oh, if I had if I had the car closer, I would get one of these fridges, but I think we're too far away, really. Um, that's all cool. That's also quite cool. I'll leave the propane tank. We've got quite a lot of propane tank around. I'm going to take the sport battery. I don't. We don't have a sports car yet, but I would quite like to get one at some point. Um, right. Get some of these extra food. Okay, I think we're we're pretty good to be honest. Got quite a lot of this stuff. Oh, I will take the cookie. Extinguisher, I will take. Uh, what is this? Is this like a napkin holder? A shop dispenser. Four. That weighs four. Um, all right, fine. Uh, anything, any zombies over here? There's a few there. Tempted to go into the bar, like Spiffo's bar. Normally get some stuff there. I'm sneaky, I might be able to just quickly nip across. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any zombies back here. Take this one out as it comes around the corner. Um, there's a Spiffo truck. Tempted by the Spiffo truck. I want the Spiffo menu. Just rest up for a few seconds, because we're exerted. Through the broken glass here. They probably heard me. Only a couple though. Make sure there's none around this corner. Yeah, we're fine. Looks like they had a Spiffo apron or something on. I want that Spiffo apron. Spiffo serving apron. There we go. Oh god. Oh, just. In we go. The hornet's nest. Are we actually full? We're actually full. Okay. Um, that's slightly concerning. Uh, yeah. That's. Have any food in here that's worth taking? Probably not. It's probably all rotten. Flour's good, though. Chocolate is good. Oh, this is all getting a bit tight. Do we have a, do we have a spare bag on us? Half the garbage bag, no. Oh, dear. I only came in to get some... Some, um... Spiffo... <laughs> some Spiffo merch. Nothing really here. But I want that Spiffo sign. Okay, I'll just go around here quickly, just to see if there's anything else. Antidepressants. And a couple of bandages. Eye makeup? Did we get an eye makeup? I don't think so. Black hair dye. We can go back to being Logan again. Logan misses black hair. Okay, we need that Spiffo sign. Okay, he's got it. Gone and done it. Alright, let's get out a... That's a quip secondary. And at least we can then pop a couple of bits into here. I don't think it's got a huge amount of carry capacity. Oh, it's got more than I thought. Alright, okay. Um, Pop all of that in there then. Kind of want us to look in that van. Oh... Oh, it's got all the rotten food I could possibly want. Um. <laughs> oh, it's unlocked. <gasps> and we've got a key. Oh, I kind of just have to take this. Is there gas in it? No, but did I find gas? I do have gas. Add some gas. Oh, and it runs. Oh, it's magnificent. <laughs> right, well, we've got a new car. I might have to come back for this and uh, use my... We'll just have to basically get a random crappy car. Come back up here and then pick up the Spiffo van and take it back home. I think that's the best thing to do. Oh, but it's magnificent. Oh, I'm so happy with this. So I think the last thing I wanted to do quickly was I wanted to just do a little bit of fishing, really. While I'm up here next to the river, I might as well. Might need to do some foraging for some worms or something, because we're going to need bait. I don't think we can dig with shoes. You used to be able to till the ground with shoes. Um, from what I remember. Oh, yeah, can we not, can we not fish then? Dig furrows with hands. Okay. We got a worm. Okay, that's something. <laughs> we didn't injure ourselves, and we got a worm. Fish. Uh, fish in large backpack. Oh, we can. F okay, that's weird. We got some socks. We got a small sunfish. We got small bass. Small catfish. Okay, we're going to be absolutely exhausted come the end of this, but <laughs> we seem to be doing fine. Oh, no fishing rod found. What happened? Okay, that's not great. Okay, so our, our line broke already. But we need like a nail or something. Okay, well that was that was a little experience of fishing. Okay, let's go home. So honestly, I think that was a pretty successful session. We've um, 
if the car will start. We, uh, yeah, we got... Our commentary actually went up quite a bit, which is nice as well, taking apart those beds. We've got our, our fishing went up a little bit. We, we could do with a bit more of that, to be honest, but if we had more worms, I would have done. So, we've, uh, yeah, we got quite a lot of loot. I'm really happy with that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've liked the series, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much to everyone who's supported me so far with all your likes, comments, tips, subscriptions. It's It's been absolutely amazing. It's been an amazing month, and I can't thank you guys enough. This has um, been a massive change for the for the channel doing this, and I'm so, so thankful that I did because the whole community and everyone has been so nice. So thank you again to everyone who... You're just amazing, so thank you, everyone. I think next episode I'm going to go on a on an exploration outside of Riverside. I know it's a scary world, but I'm thinking I might go a bit further south. I might I I might just see where we go. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And I have to sort all of this. <laughs> I'm going to do so many trips back and forth. Right. Anyway, cheers, guys. Bye, bye.